Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today I have got a Poundland tour for you that is in a TK Maxx bag but uh, that's because this bag was folded up in my handbag to use as a shopper. Does anyone else do that? I try, I try and be good with the carrier bag thing. Hello darling, you're so beautiful. You are. So yes, um, I think it's pretty much all Christmas. It's, yeah, pretty much sure it is. Anyway, jump right in. First thing I've got, some holly um holly berries and holly leaves um it's one of these it's really weird in my store um <laughs> you own i like obviously watch other people's haul videos and stuff and um everyone always has this and in my store it only seems to be there in the middle of the summer um i'm not gonna lie in the bit where they have the the fake foliage they had sunflowers um like really bright springy flowers and like four of these <laughs> um and there was a lady hovering so i took one because i wanted one but yeah um i'm not 100 percent sure what i'm going to do but i have seen on lots of people's diys that these quite separate quite easily so and they're quite pliable so i got that um the next thing isn't for me it's a Geo Angular white polar bear. Um, this one's not for me. Basically, I was on the phone to my mum while I was in the pound shop um, and she mentioned that she already had the penguin but her store didn't have a polar bear. So I've picked her up one of those to drop over. Um, it's cute though. Like, I must admit, I, <laughs> I think I picked up five before I found one that didn't actually have broken ears or nose or something. I don't I don't quite understand it was the same remember when everybody was going crazy about the bronze bunny or hair that they had a couple of Easter's ago so many of them are damaged and it's like surely they either need to improve the packaging that they use or they need to use better stock care I'm not sure what it is because you'd have thought if there were loads of broken ones a member of staff would have seen it and taken it off I don't know, but anyway, polar bear for my mum. And then, oh, I got one of these, a wreath hanger. Now, I don't put a wreath out on our front door, um, just because the way our house is like, if you've ever been to Cornwall, you probably know, there's a lot of hills and our location is quite hilly and the wind kind of whooshes around our front door. It's like if the wind's high, our letterbox bangs. So I think if I put a reef on it, it wouldn't be there for very long. Um, even though we have a, like a porch on, like there's a porch roof, but the wind still kind of wraps around it and lifts things up. So this is actually gonna go on the back of one of my internal doors. So I have more space to hang things because I like to have everywhere decorated as much as possible. This one was a little bit of a substitution. So I've seen on quite a lot of people's videos the reef form that is like a coppery colour. That's the one I wanted. Um, they didn't have it. So they have these, I think, in red and gold and silver, I believe. Um, and it's basically, I'm just going to have to cut the red tinsel off and then use it as a wreath form but yeah I would have preferred the copper one they didn't have any um and I asked there is a new chap working in my local pound land and he's so helpful he's an older chap really nice bloke and I was like um I'm looking for this this and this <laughs> and he found two of the things I was looking for they were in boxes on top um rather than on the shelves um but he said they didn't have any of the coppery wreath forms so I did this one um to go with my wreath form i got this this is so a make your own wreath it's like very skinny christmas tree um i'm hoping this and some hessian i've got will turn that into beautifulness i hope 
you might remember if you've been here for a while last autumn when I was adamant I was going to make an autumnal wreath and I bought all the items for it and I attempted over several evenings to make this autumnal wreath and it was horrid it's like both my sisters are really good at craft my brother is really good at crafty things like arty things and he can build stuff and my mum is great at it my dad was a brilliant drawer and he like wood making things and then there's me that <sighs> i just don't have the same level of skill as, as the rest of my family um but i like to try oh darwin's got a squeaky toy um i like to try i picked up some uh red bubbles these are little ones again they're going to be placed somehow on my wreath i really wanted some gold ones to go with it but the gold baubles that they had were more yellow than gold and it's not that i don't like yellow because you know i've got yellow <laughs> um but my core color scheme is red and gold at christmas so um i might have to go somewhere else to buy some small gold baubles this oh this is from the Christmas gift range. This is actually my second one. Um, don't tell John. <laughs> Candle fan. So these is Darwin. Shh, come on, Bubba. So these are the gift range. Um, there's three cents that comes in this type of packaging. I think it looks, and it's still only a pound, and I think that looks quite lovely for a pound. Like the packaging is nice, um, and it's got a little pom pom on. So this is the frankincense flavour, scent, flavour, frankincense, <laughs> frankincense scent. I would say this is my second one of this one. The other one is, I think, the other two scents are berry and pine. I don't like pine. Ooh, what do you think, Darwin? His little nose. Yeah, that smells so good. It's just like in a yellow like that kind of glass it smells really nice i think this would be a great like if you're doing secret santa at work or something or just want to do like a little gift for a friend i think this one's really nice um but yeah i didn't particularly like i don't i wouldn't say the berry one's offensive it's pleasant but um all the it all they just yeah none of them can't get my words out not a good day to record a video it was like all the berry ones had been manhandled and i know you're not going to eat it or anything so it doesn't matter but it's like when you're going to buy something you want it to look nice and when somebody's like dug their nails into the wax it's like what's what 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 people do that what people go into a shop and purposely damage something it's just weird um and as I said, I didn't like the pine scent, but I'm not a pine fan. Like, um, with the whole Mrs. Hinch phenomenon, phenomenon, you know, and everyone's going mad about pine scented duck toilet cleaner. No, I don't, I just don't like pine scented things. Um, what else, what else do I have? Oh, I think I've got two of the frosted berry call them oh no they just call them berry string lights but i don't know how well you can see they're kind of like a frosted berry um again i'm not 100 percent sure if this is going to go on here to be fair i picked these up before i picked the ball balls up um or they might be used like on a shelf somewhere to decorate i'm not 100 percent sure so i've got these this kind of but not really goes with my theme so it is gold and that's allowed god i sound a bit like my mum now my mum i grew up in a very festive house but my mum is definitely into her color theme um whereas my dad if he liked it he bought it <laughs> and what i tend to do is my core decorations are my core color scheme is red gold and green but then if there's something i really like it gets added on and it becomes special so this not gonna lie is actually my second pineapple decoration of the season gotta be honest with you um so yeah it's quite heavy 
Um, and I've broken it slightly. That was me in my handbag, because this one got bought the day before I did my, all the other bits, and it just got popped in my handbag, and I've broken it. But, you know what I mean, it's hanging from a tree. It's sparkly, it'll be fine. I might have to go back and buy more of those. Um, oh, a pack of baubles. I'm sure last year you got four for a pound. This year it's three for a pound, but still, I went to the works and they were one, you could have a, a pack of six small ones for two pound or one, I think this size or similar to this size for a pound. So it's still good. Three for a pound is still good. Um, is that everything? Oh no. I bought some feathers. I thought they were quite nice. Um, one thing I will mention that was a bit weird. Um, these are very nice and white feathers, but some of them looked very yellow. Like there is a stray little brown one in there, but like the first couple of packs I picked up, the so I don't know if that's because they're last year's stock and it's light damage. I'm not sure, like the ones that were yellow, but these are very white as you can see, which is what you want. Otherwise you'd buy coloured feathers. And then, oh, oh, the last two bits aren't Christmas Day. I picked up a little quad and it's actually from the Poundland um, range of makeup and if I can open it, is it a name? Burgundy Boss 2. And I can't actually open it, that's great. All fingers and thumbs today. No, I can't open it, but it's like there's a a, um, a matte brown, a shimmer brown, a, like a shimmer gold and a like a burgundy there. And I'm like, how autumnally festive. I think I could do a lot of nice things like that. Or eventually I'll open it, swash it, go, ooh, and never use it again. But you know what I mean. And the last two bits and bobs, two Barry M nail polishes. And obviously, because they're in a pack together, that meant they were 50p each, which was nice. So I got the shade Freestyle and Eat My Dust. Um, so they're the quick dry, dry ones. So one is like a mix of grey and baby blue and the other one's like a baby pink. Not Christmas. Um, but still very wearable me colours. So yes, that is my Poundland haul. I was very, very, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> very rambly as always. Um, hope you don't mind. Oh, hello, <laughs> Do you not think you've been enough in this video? No. Oh, good boy. Um, yes, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a good day. <laughs> I hope your life is full of puppy kisses. Lots of puppy kisses. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.